if the earth is, is flat, then what about night and day? Hmm, I don't know. Let me think about it. Maybe because the earth is double-sided and God flips us over when it's time for us to go to bed. She did a parody and she said, oh, we can flip the earth upside down and have day and night. I would never have thought to say something so dumb. So the week has been absolutely draining, so I thought that it'd be nice to kick off Friday with a more lighthearted story. And no, we're not going to talk about Pat Robertson dying, although crab dance. Uh, but today we're actually going to be talking about my new favorite Republican lol cow, of course, Candace Taylor of Georgia, who recently came out as a flat earther saying this in an episode of her podcast, Jesus Guns and Babies with flat earth dave more and more i'm like it doesn't make sense so is it or not i don't know 100 percent, but it's just it doesn't make sense the other way I, I can't unsee this all the globes everywhere i turn on tv there's globes in the background there's globes on there right here like this would be a globe if i was a normal person like everywhere there's globes you see them all the time i mean it's constant my children will be like mama globe 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 they're everywhere and that's what they do the, to brainwash and so for me if it is not a conspiracy if it is you know real why are you pushing so hard yeah now we did a deep dive on her last week and that of course is not the only conspiracy theory she believes in shocking i know and i even made a music video about her that absolutely nobody asked for so i'll link to that as well as my deep dive on her down below but one thing that really set candace taylor off following the virality of that video of her was comedian blair erskine making a parody of her and in case you missed it this was blair's response to candace taylor's questions about the shape of our globe you know i'm not a scientist because that is a made-up job but i know that the earth is flat okay because if the earth was round why would maps be flat they can never answer that okay and people want to be like well oh if the earth is, is flat then what about night and day hmm, i don't know let me think about it maybe because the earth is double-sided and god flips us over when it's time for us to go to bed and flips us back over when it's time for us to wake up like i do with my husband like use your brain use your head for a minute if the earth was round like a globe everything would be falling off of it all the oceans will be dripping down it like ice cream okay unless the earth is a dq blizzard where nothing falls out but even then sometimes things do fall out and they do have to give you your money back so that doesn't really make sense to me they're trying so hard to make us think the earth is a globe i see globes on tv globes at my children's school i saw a globe at hobby lobby a place of worship hobby lobby there is a globe there I mean, if I were a normal person, there would be a globe behind me, but I have a rotary telephone that's not hooked up to anything, so Bill Gates can't track me, okay, because I'm using my head. That was incredible, but Candace Taylor did not take kindly to it, and she denounced Blair by name in a 12-minute video that she posted to Twitter, and she clarified that she's actually not a flat earther, contrary to popular belief, but she admits that she still does have some issues with globe... <laughs> globe propaganda here's what she said i am a christian i love jesus i am a woman i'm created perfect in the image of god and i know who i am i'm firm in that i've never said the earth was flat i've never said that i was a flat earther never ever ever have i said that i did not say that globes were fake i never said that what I said was that NASA taking billions of dollars every month of our taxpayer money and funding something that we do not see any progression in. If the earth is a globe, which we've always believed the earth is a globe, and we believe that, why do we see globes on all the TV shows, on all the movies, and all the stores? Why are there globes everywhere? Why? because it's propaganda. It's propaganda for us to be okay with NASA spending billions of dollars of our taxpayer money to fund whatever they want to fund. That does not mean that I'm crazy. That does not mean that I'm unethical. That does not mean that anything that a radical, liberal, psychotic girl in Atlanta who did a parody on me said. 
because she did a parody and she said, oh, we can flip the earth upside down and have day and night. I would never have thought to say something so dumb. That is completely idiotic. She said that. Her, not me. And people that say, oh, this is you? No. Look at my lips. She had on red lipstick, but she does not have a full front top lip. And I told her that. The red was a nice touch, but you don't have the lips for it. She looks nothing like me, praise the Lord. And she writes skits for Saturday Night Live. She has a fake Southern accent. She's an Atlantean. She doesn't sound like me from South Georgia. And she's trying to. But it's not me, people. It's her. It's Blair. Her name's Blair. I don't even know her last name. Damn. Shots fired. Now, I've got to say, she seemed obviously peeved that people are accusing her of being a flat earther. But I mean, Candace, you literally did a podcast with a guy named Flat Earth Dave. And you called Globes a conspiracy during that interview. So so you don't have much plausible deniability here. Although to be fair to her, she did address this in her 12 minute video. And what she said surprised me again. For me to interview someone that doesn't believe exactly how I believe or exactly what I've always been taught, it's not an anomaly. It's normal for me. It's normal for me to interview people and learn from them. In fact, I'm interviewing a transgender next week. That doesn't mean I'm a trans. Okay, that's fair. Although, I've got to say, I fear for the trans person who she will be interviewing because that is uh, going to be a very uncomfortable interview. But um, she didn't just listen to a different perspective in her interview with Flat Earth Dave, to be fair. She engaged in the conspiracy. That's the thing, right? Like, if she were talking to a transgender person and she explained how she herself had issues with her own gender identity, then it would be, I think, reasonable to deduce that perhaps she's transgender or non-binary. But because you engaged in the conspiracies with Flat Earth Dave and you didn't push back against what he said, I don't think it's unreasonable to say that you are a Flat Earther, right? Now, Blair responded to Candace's remarks on Twitter saying, just learned a lot about myself. Don't have a full front top lip not from South Georgia, apparently work at SNL. Thank you for clearing that up, Candace Taylor, and don't let Big Globe get you down. She added, changing my bio to radical, liberal, psychotic girl. This is the most hilarious beef ever. Now, in her response video, Candace basically primarily addresses the liberals who were making fun of her, but unfortunately for her, Republicans in Georgia are the ones who are really going to weaponize this against her, and they are pointing to her comments about the earth being flat, or possibly flat, if we're trying to be charitable to her, to remove her from power, basically. Because remember, she is the leader of the local Republican Party in her area. So the Atlanta Journal-Constitution details how intra-party warfare is plaguing Georgia's Republican Party. And there's basically two factions. There is the Brian Kemp slash Mike Pence wing, which is, I guess, the more, it, it, to even say it moderate, is a bit of a stretch, right? But the less conspiratorial wing, and then you have the Trump slash Carrie Lake slash Candace Taylor wing, the wing that is basically cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, and Candace Taylor is a part of this wing. Um, but they, Candace's wing, they're going to be pushing for a rule at the upcoming GOP convention to literally disqualify Republican candidates who they deem as traitors. So, they're as extreme as it gets, and now, because she decided to conspiracy monger about the flat earth, well, they're going to try to use that to undermine what her and her cronies are trying to do. Now, here's what one of the uh, officials on the Kemp slash Penn side uh, said about these extremists without mentioning her by name, but here's what they said, quote, We've got a woman who is accusing Democrats of being globalists, but she doesn't even believe in globes, said Ed Henderson, an officer with the Raboon County GOP, who is distraught at his party's direction. Quote, we're going to have to reclaim the party. You have a complete divorce between what 1,500 activists want and common sense, said Henderson, who is also a member of the state GOP committee. We're a party now of performance artists and extremism cells. 
Yeah, it's almost like pandering to extremists for decades would one day come back to bite you in the ass. Now, Candace here is one of the ringleaders promising big things for state Republicans, and um, we'll see how it goes. They're going to try to use her being a flat earther against her in part, right? There's other issues with Candace Taylor, but that's one of the things that I'm assuming they're going to bring up. Um, but I mean, this tells us that at least there is some limit to what the Republican Party will tolerate. They'll accept conspiracy theories, but they draw the line at flat earth, which I guess is good. But um, she addressed this in her 12 minute long video, and she's claiming that she have has majority support. So I'll link you to her full response if you want to hear what she has to say, because it gives us some additional insight into the GOP civil war in Georgia. And I just love how you've got the trad cons going up against um, the cuckoo conservatives and you have a flat earther as one of the leaders or excuse me somebody who's just asking questions about the shape of the globe but let's get back to blair because candace was not done dragging her uh because the daily beast wrote an article about blair's parody and reached out to candace for comment and here's what she said this was really mean quote when the daily beast reached out to taylor for comment she offered this response via text blair erskine is a failed comedian and completely out of touch with the heartland of america the truth is the media Media has lied about everything from safe and effective vaccines, secure elections, to men now being able to conceive babies. Everybody loves a good conspiracy theory, but we can't smother and demonize people for their curiosity in the pursuit of political correctness. Now, here's my favorite part. Asked if she believes the Earth is flat, Taylor evaded the question by replying, I'd love to visit space and see it for myself one day. <laughs> Because that's totally not something that a flat earther would say. Look, Candace, most people would just give a direct answer. No, the earth is not flat. But she's like, um, i just like to see it for myself one day. Candace, you're not helping. You're not helping. And as she sprinkled in these conspiracy theories, more conspiracy theories, as she is attacking Blair here, she brought up transphobia, referring to the fact that trans men have babies. I mean... That trans person coming on our podcast next week, oh my God, I really fear for you. It's going to be a mentally draining conversation unless she's talking to Blair White, then it's going to be, there's going to be a lot of common ground. Uh, either way, that's the update to the story. I will keep you posted and uh, hopefully Candace, as much as we uh, have come to love her, loses her position of power because somebody who is that extreme, that conspiratorial should not be anywhere near power. And I get that the bar is very low for the Republican Party, but even by their standards, she's a little bit too cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, if you know what I mean. So um, uh, I guess I'm kind of rooting for the Kemp slash Pence side. Although if they all can like cancel out each other somehow, take each other down, that'd be the best outcome. So I just say, let them fight. But I hope that Candace keeps dishing out the bangers because... If you thought that Marjorie Taylor Greene was the biggest lol cow in the GOP, you know, Candace here said, hold my Bud Light. Like everywhere there's glow, mama. you see them all the time. I mean, it's constant. Mama. My children are like, mama, glow, 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 glow. I turn on mama. TV, there's glow in the background. Every TV show, news media, glow, wow. Glow, 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 gl